Oh god. You can see how rough the green screen really is here. Video games. Video games. Give me one second. Hold on. I need to fix something. See how there's like this little like... Like right here. Like this little blip. What's causing that is my key... My, my keyboard. Like my piano... You know. Keyboard. It's like right off of... There it is. See that? That's what's causing that. There's my hat. See if I can fix that real quick. I do it. Kind of. Kind of. All right. Video games. <sighs> what were we doing last time? We were doing a lot of stuff. Someone wanted three fashionable dishes. We need to feed the cat. Some guy is depressed. And we need to do a thing for him. It's daytime, so we get to go out and do something. Uh, we need to build social links. We need to... God. There's a lot. There's a lot that we need to do. So, let's just go, let's just go check around. Let's go see what's going on. Oh yeah, and in case you haven't seen it yet, the uh, the video is done. It's out. I made it. It's good. I think. We're not feeding the cat the huge fish. That's a huge fish! Let's see, today is Sunday. Is there anything we can only do on Sundays? I don't think so. I think Sundays are actually relatively open. Uh, so we can hang out with Rise or Mary. See what we got here. Rank four. Rank three. So we want to hang out with Rise. Do we have anything of the oh, lovers? So Isn't ready to advance yet. What about with you? Huh? Won't deepen just yet. How s hmm. What's the fusion forecast? Bonus stats? Bonus stats is nice. Anything of the lover's arcana? You have quite a few things. We can only fuse up to 47. From what I remember, we need Yatagarasu for something. 
Did we? Yatsufusa with the Meteorama ability. What is it? Okay, Makami. Fought. So, okay, so you craft this. So we need Mothman, we need. The Sun, the Hanged Man, and the Emperor. We need Thought. So what do we need to craft Thought? Was Yatagarasu... And... What was two other things? Discord? What about Discord? <laughs> nice. I was not expecting that. Oh, my alarm's going off. Gosh dang it. One second. Okay. <laughs> I think it looks real neat. It's like a one to one. <laughs> Thanks for that, Byron. Okay, okay. So, let's see here. So, Persona for Golden. 
What was it? Social link. Okay. Get on with Rampage. Oh no, this is Persona 4. Got uh, Ares with Megiddo using Tauti Kusich, Ares, Pyrojack, and Dis. Do we still have Ares? We need Ares. What else do we need? Ares, Pyrojack, and Diz. How to with Kusich. All right. Let's dismiss this. I think I just summoned this one because... Same with this one. We'll keep Mothman. Because Mothman is based... Based on what? Based on the hardware that's installed in it. So we need this boy. Then we need... This boy. Is that right? Oh no, we create Ares by fusing Tauti and Kusich. Okay. So we have to Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just load. <laughs> let's load. Cuz I just wasted a bunch of money. And I don't want I don't want to waste that much money. Not for nothing at least. All right. 
Huh? How's... Shut up. I'm trying to get into the velvet room. All right. So... Okay, so we need to create Ares with... So I need at least two open slots. Alright, so now we need to fuse that. Give it Megado. And wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Did I already do this? Am I a fool? No. Okay. Skip this. It's going to level up a couple times. And then fuse Ares with, what was it? Pyrojack and Diz. So we already have a Pyrojack, so now we just need Diz. Eighteen thousand yen. Ugh, that hurts. I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm actually looking at the wrong... Oh, my God. I, already, I did already do this. I already did this. I'm a fool. I am a fool. All right. Whatever. I won't worry about it too much. Um, we got some stuff we can sell. Got a lot of stuff. Let's go catch some bugs real quick. That's easy. We could also hang out with Kanji. E. 
easy. Yo. Yeah. Hunty seems to have some free time. Wait, what is that? Yeah. You feel your relationship with Kanji is going to become closer soon. Okay. That's okay, so Kanji's going to be the one who we hang out with next. Okay, okay. Is there anything else we can do? We got the Jack Frost doll. Yeah, let's just hang out. Let's just hang out with Kanji. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. The hill overlooking town. It seems Kanji called the boy here. Here's the stuff I promised you. N no complaining, okay? Kanji handed the boy what appears to be a bunny doll. It's complete with clothes, a ribbon, a hat, and an umbrella. It's very elaborate. Wow, this is incredible. Where'd you buy it? Huh? Who cares? I want one too. Oh, well, I got one for you. Kanji handed the boy another bunny. It's complete with clothes, shoes, a cap, and a soccer ball. It's very elaborate. For me? Thanks. But where did you buy it? Uh. <laughs> this old man here made it. Nah, tell him the truth. Come on, Kanji. Well, uh, I, I made it. You made this? You got a problem with that? If you think it's so creepy, then give it. Wow, so cool. Can you make me something else? Mom loves this kind of stuff. Huh? Sure. You promised. I'm gonna go give this to Sonicha. Thanks, mister. Not that old, damn it. <laughs> I'm cool. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, it's not like sewing's good for anything. But, you know, it ain't a bad feeling. Thanks. Huh. It was nothing. Nice. Kanji can now cure severe ailments during battle. This is a great place, huh? The wind is different up here. Never noticed before. Later. You're back. All right. This this dude. I heard you got top marks on that last exam, keeping your studies up while you're taking care of Nanako too. You're one hard worker, aren't you? Uh, I need to act like an uh, uncle every so often and give you some spending money. Here you go. A big tip. Don't spend it all in... Nah, you can use it however you like. 40,000 yet, dude. What a god. What is our uh, social link with Ryotaro? Rank 5? Is it gonna rank up soon? What's up? What? You're working part-time in the evenings. Hey, I'm your guardian, you know. Do you think I'm going to allow you to do something like this? Neither of these are really good answers. <sighs> Probably not. 
You're an honest one. I have to give you some credit for mentioning this, considering how you expect me to react. <sighs> Alright, I'll allow it. I believe you. It's better than having you sneaking out behind my back. Even though this is a small town in the countryside, there's a lot of chances to get into trouble. Watch out. It's a promise. Got it? Hey! What's wrong, Ford? Since you have Floros, a person of the Hierophant Arcana, you two might get along well. Won't become closer yet. Fuck. Night. Alright, I'm gonna go to my job. See ya, Dojima. Wait. Is today even a day I can work? I, I have not been paying attention. If that isn't abundantly clear already, I have not been paying attention. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Okay. I need to keep that in my fucking small brain. My tiny, tiny brain. We need to read. That's what we need to do. We need to read. Am I done with uh, hyperspeed reading? I am. Easy. All right. May increase your courage. Let's go. All men have great spirit of masculinity with themselves. Life and death. The rigorous application of manhood. You feel more like a man than ever before. Since you finished hyper-speed reading, you were able to read more than normal. You have finished reading Man of History. Your courage has significantly increased. Sorry for dropping this on you all of a sudden, but I need a big favor. Can you work at Juness from today until Friday? We're short on staff. I'll pay you more than we usually pay our workers. I'll buy you lunch every day at work too. I promise. Please, I'm begging you. Yosuke seems desperate. God damn it, Yosuke. Yeah, sure. All right. Okay, hang up. You decide to work out Junes till Friday. Junes. <sighs> Why there's so many people just for the hero show? It's so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie by now if it weren't for you. If you weren't here, Common. Welcome, we've got shaved ice here with all your favorite flavors. Cheer on the heroes while enjoying a tasty snack of frosty shaved mm. ice. Ah, <sighs> it's so hot today. Teddy is keeping up a good pace. You helped Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. You became close to everyone. Oh yeah, good news. All us girls have our scooter licenses now. We're still getting the hang of riding them. But a little more practice, and we'll be good to go. And we need to finish helping out here first. Let's pick up the pace. Work hard at Juness. Oh, God. After the days of hard labor and the blistering heat, Teddy seems to be slowing down. Welcome, everyone. Beat the heat and eat some meat. <laughs> Yaki Niku grilled steak, ginger pork, chow down, and restore the energy from the brutal summer days. Restore the energy the brutal summer days have taken from you. <laughs> Try our tender, delicious beef. Teddy is really dedicated, isn't he? I'm melting in this short sleeve shirt. He's wearing that huge costume, and he's standing in front of the griddle. How does he do it? You helped the Osuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. Came close to everyone. Relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. 
but Chia is going to become closer soon. Hey, tomorrow's the summer festival, remember? Meet us at the shrine tomorrow night, okay? God damn it. I wanted to go work. Today's the last day at help. Yosuke, you earn 40,000 yen. All right. That's pretty okay. Wooden bat combo. All right. And we got shit to harvest, so. I harvested wheat, or I planted wheat because I was a little low on chest keys. And it doesn't take any time. Oh, we gotta check the fridge. Nope, nothing. Unlucky. God damn it. Yeah, fine. God. Mm. Poggers! Summer festival begins today. You're supposed to meet up with your friends. Straight to evening, huh? Funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Who knows? Yeah, there ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. Haven't seen the reporters around either. And they sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Well, it ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some Mikiyaki. Ooh, I want to get some too! Kanji, what's Ikayaki? <laughs> Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? I wonder. They'll show up sooner or... Whoa, isn't that them? Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as breezy as everyone says. What? It's kind of hard to walk. You look cute. cute. <laughs> oh, okay. Nana-chan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. Keep it in your pants, bear boy. <laughs> Thank you. How do we look, senpai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? Um. Does this just raise social, social link with whoever? These are children. Hey! <laughs> I can't say anything. I don't know. None of this just, none of this seems right. I I'd like to think we're all just like sitting here. Staring at each other, just like. Flip a coin. I'm trying to think who I need to raise social link with. I think I need to raise social link with Yuhiko. And Rise. So yeah, I'll flip here. I have a coin somewhere. I think. Ah, oh, yeah. Any quarters? Eh. 
That's the swear jar. Alright, heads, Yukiko. Heads, Yukiko. Tails, Risei. Heads. Jeez. Everything's falling all over the place. All right, Yukiko, let's go. Oh, not at all. You're probably just used to seeing me in one. Yukiko is blushing a little. Kanji, what are you looking away for? It, dude's got a bloody nose, all right? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? Th that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after her. They bought me cotton candy. <laughs> Did they now? All right, then. You want to go over and do the target prank? Uh, I mean, game with me? Target practice. I'll take care of Nanako from here. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Yeah, all right. Hmm. A summer festival. Hmm. hmm. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. Teddy, what the fuck is wrong with you? What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two. Rawr. Two by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. Teddy. 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 Shut the fuck up. Think about it. Two by two rust base with airlock. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. It's the natural way of things. What, what, what the hell are you babbling about? I'm with Teddy. Come on, senpai. Why wear yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? So we should pair off right away. Rise! What a terrifying girl! You got a point, though. Good memories. Uh, I'm fine, too. Oh, what I mean is, uh, count me in. All right, you guys decide how we'll split up. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, all right. Three guys and three girls. What should we do? Who's going to get left out? Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? <laughs> Me, him, and Kanji makes three. Yeah, you're not getting... You're not getting included, Teddy. Sorry. What? You did that on purpose. Um, should I really do this? Oh, yeah. You can barely look at him. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, Kanji. <laughs> no way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. Sorry, I'm fixing my headphones. All right, yeah. 
He's just gonna nah, stare. You should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. <laughs> He's just gonna stare. He's a... <laughs> what? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie Chan and Yuki Chan and Risei Chan for my partner. <laughs> That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this. That's right, Kanji. This is serious business, and you're a true man. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. Teddy. Ted. Okay. How much more can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. Ted. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Y yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy. You said it. Okay, count me out. Dude, come on. Don't fall for that. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. No, it isn't. Huh? What's going on? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. I just couldn't let that happen. What? You little... <laughs> I see. Shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide and this is what we get? <sighs> what a letdown. Oh well, let's go then. What? We fail, huh? An epic fail. Hey, Teddy! Is he groping them? Why are you buying another idol's photo? Mine's in there too! <laughs> oh, what's with this? Hey, Ted! Hands off my corn! Teddy! You got ketchup on my yukata! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Is he that much of per- like, there's no way, right? And he already thought, it, oh, like, there was gonna be an actual fucking decision. Or something. You know, the festival at the shrine's going on tonight too, right? Two of us, don't you? Come on, let's go. Uh, check social link rank. Rank three. Teddy sucks, trash character. Thank you! Tatsuhime Shrine. Bubble stalls are lined up from yesterday. It's just the two of us. Just the two of us. I kind of wanted you to pick me in front of everyone else yesterday. But there were so many of us and Teddy was there, so I knew it was impossible. Yeah. Teddy. Well, it's nice that we get to come here twice then, for the memories. Of course. Come on, let's go. First, we have to make a wish, though it'll be the second time I do it. What are you going to wish for? Thanks for the memories. <laughs> um, fucking... I mean, shit, I need to get my, my social link up, so. Wink. Thanks. Me too. <laughs> I bet we're both thinking of specific things on how to achieve this. No. Not really. I might have bigger, bolder plans than you.
Made your wishes together. Hmm? Young lady. What are these fucking... Aren't you that girl on TV? How do you type the emote in BTTV again? I think it's capital P and the rest is lowercase. I don't know. Candy dabbles. I get that a lot. Sorry, it's not me. A real idol couldn't walk around in public with a boy like this. Ah, uh, so I got all excited for nothing. Oh, well. How about a candy apple then? One for your boyfriend, too. Your boyfriend? <laughs> so people do think you're my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? What should we do? Want one each? Or do you want to share one? No, that sounds like it'd be really hard to eat. All us vendors are handing out lottery tickets. Lottery tickets? You can turn them in for a chance to draw a prize at the Tourie over there. <laughs> what? That sounds fun. Well then, I want two candied apples. Coming right up. Let's go look at the other stands after we're done eating, senpai. All right. Bits. A konomiyaki, huh? When I got one yesterday, it was huge, so I gave most of it to Teddy. Oh, but today you're here. Let's share one for real this time. I don't have very good memories with fish. Why, you drown? I used to have guppies in my room before, but I was too busy to take care of them. Uh. Oh, but I'm sure they'll give us lottery tickets for playing, right? We can always just catch and release. <laughs> All right, then. It's one draw per person. Let me go get it. I wonder what I'll get. I hope I can get something super weird so I can remember the day I got it. Now, close your eyes and draw your prize. You drew one ticket. Wow, amazing. Both of you won. The girl got fourth place. So, a cell phone strap. Well, that's pretty... <laughs> what is this character? It's so ugly. It's a dick in the uh, box. Wait, these clothes... My tour costume last year looked like this. Wait, is this? Oh, no! <laughs> and the boyfriend has sixth place. A book. The Divine Way. Was it written by the people at the shrine? <sighs> we saw a lot. Hey, senpai. Honestly, you had other invitations today, didn't you? Even if you didn't, I'm sure there were girls who were thinking about inviting you. So, thank you for coming with me today. Well, see ya. I hope we can come again next year. Yeah, alright. Lamau. It's my dick in a box. Step one. Cut a hole in the box. Step two. <laughs> a shit in the box. Step three. Open up the box. It's your shit in the box. <laughs> I don't know. Why. It's not funny. It, like, literally. The joke is literally just instead of dick in a box, you just take a shit in the box. Two longevity beetles and Genji beetles. Tiny soul tomatoes and Hiranya cabbage. Um. What the fuck are Genji beetles? Always bugs? Okay. We've definitely not caught in caught any Genji beetles yet, so I'm assuming that's good. At least rare. Alright. Dude, I need a belt. I need to pull up my pants and I need a belt. Give me a second.
It's weird. Because, like... My fucking pants... Like, because of the way I sit and I, like, move around, my pants will sometimes, like, start falling off. All right. So they finally caught the culprit. The whole town's buzzing about it. I suppose the victims' families can finally find peace. But not if they're watching all that malarkey on the news. Uh, it's just a one-way trip to eternal despair. It's hard, but there ain't nothing that can bring those people back. You have some time, I have a small request if you're busy. But if you're busy... Um, you ever taken a walk around here at night? It's nice and all, in the day and all, but... At night, you get a real change of scenery. I enjoy it. There's no city lights. All the stores are closed. It's so quiet, you can hear the river. Only problem is that you've got to watch your step. It's so dark, you don't know where your feet are landing. I suppose I could carry a flashlight, but it kind of ruins the atmosphere. I think it would be alright if I had a lamp, maybe. But even that would be a pain in the neck to hold. And the wind would just blow it out. That an eternal lamp or something would be nice. I could find you one. All right, eternal lamp. Whatever the fuck that is. Honestly, kind of want to fish right now. What do you need? Uh, I don't want to go home. To be honest, I have another request for you. Do you think you could help me again? Oh my god. What's your request? I found another way that I'm not like my sister. So I might need a leaf... Hard C or soft C? Pochette? Poquette? Could you find another one? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, Fucking French, I swear to God. They ruin everything. Name one thing the French have not ruined. You can't. By extension, the French have ruined butter. Because the French have ruined bread. Prove me wrong. Pro tip, you can't. Nice. Push it. Push it real good. Alright, time to gamble, boys. Fuck. Come on, big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Fuck. Game sucks. Ah, push it. Push it good. Ah, push it. Push it real good. <laughs> What was that? Salt and pepper? 
and heavy D up in the limousine. All right. Um, salt and pepper. Did I say the hard R? Am I going to jail? Oh. One sec, one sec. Damn right. <laughs> ah, push it. Okay, Yukiko is rank five. She uh, rank six. Mary is rank four, but I don't think we can hang with her today. Yeah, let's just hang out with Yukiko. Oh. Yes. All right. Juness Grocery Department. Yukiko brought you here. here. I wrote down everything I need, so this shouldn't take that long. What are you making? Uh, uh huh. Promise you won't laugh? Miso soup. Yukiko looks a bit embarrassed. I mean... I'm studying the basics of the basics. Listen. It's a good place to start, right? You know, I, a lot of people that I know who got started in cooking, you know, they start with real simple shit. You know, you make eggs, scrambled eggs, super simple. It teaches you to like be attentive, to not let the, you know, let the egg burn, how to not undercook, how to not overcook grilled cheese. You know, it teaches you heat variation, shit like that. But it's not turning out like it does in the book, even though I'm following the directions. Do you want me to teach you? <laughs> what? Really? Oh, I'll pass, but thanks anyway. Yukiko looks apologetic. I think there's no point unless I do it alone. Understandable. Our cooks help me out all the time. At first they gave me advice, but eventually they take the knife from me. So even if the me meal turns out wonderfully, it doesn't mean anything that way. I told them to leave me alone, but they still stay and watch. Hmm. Well, you can't fuck up scrambled eggs easily, right? Nobody, nobody like expects you to make something good when you're learning but it's hard to make bad grambled, scrambled eggs hey they care about you. Dude, do you really think so look surprised but happy last time the head chef took the knife from me shouting I can't stand to watch anymore and made the rest the waitress saw it and said to the uh, head cook, Yukiko wants to make it herself, even if it's awful. Before I knew it, I was studying how to cook for a boy I like. <laughs> My parents got involved, and it exploded from there. Funny, isn't it? But maybe it wasn't all a lie. Smile. Just taste my food again, okay? Faint hint of love. Ah, love. Power to create personas of the priestess Arcana has grown. Amrita. The fuck is Amrita? Cures all ailments except down and KO. Pretty strong. 
Um, oh yeah, shopping. All right, let's go home. You helped Yuki go with her shopping and walked home part way together. You're back. So you're home. Uh, nah, sorry. Well, now nah, we need to hang out with Ryotaro. Yeah. Hey. Even if it won't become closer. Ah. Uh. Ryotaro. Spend time talking with Dojima. Into the right side. Morning. Is your motorcycle all gassed up? Remember how I mentioned how we should all go to the beach before? Why not go today? I've been looking forward to it. Right? When you think of the summer, you think of the beach. And vice versa. I'm sure suntan skin and a little accidental hand slipping is in our future. Yosuke? You good? Yes, okay. What what was that? I'll go ahead and call up the others. See you later. Yes, okay. You you good, man? You want to talk about it? The sky is bright and clear today. It's the perfect day for an outing. You decided to bring out your scooter. Dude, Yosuke reminds me of that one bit. Uh, I can't even remember what it is. The implication. Senpai! Is the beach really this way? You've been on the road for a while. Anime. I'm positive! But can't you smell the ocean? What smell? <laughs> you can definitely trust her on this, Rize. She's got the senses of a beast, remember? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, what are you saying? Hey, you? I was complimenting you. You call that a compliment, you idiot? What kind of girl wants to be compared to a big man? Where's Kanji? <laughs> hey, dude, give me a break, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the map? This is crazy. <laughs> Wait for me. I'm is he on roller skates? Why is he in the costume? That looks like Highway 1. Dude, she almost just fucking ate shit. Skates built in. <laughs> He's a fucking. You know, I'm starting to get nervous. Nervous about what? Did you... We're at the ocean, which means swimsuits, which means reset live and in person. What are you nervous about? What are the ramifications here? Am I using up my lifetime supply of luck with this? You know, you of all people, whatever. Whoa! Ooh! You too, Teddy. How come you guys are here? You should be in the water! Oh, were you waiting for us? Dude, that's just insane! I've already seen her shadow.
Summer is awesome! Hey, were you checking me out, senpai? Risei is smiling mischievously. Um, can we get going into the water? Are those the same? Never mind. Chie-chan, Risei-chan, and Yuki-chan all win the Ladies of Summer competition! I'm surrounded by such beautiful mermaids. I feel like this could be my chance for a summer romance. Keep it in your trunks, bear boy. Like that had ever happened. Where's Kanji? Good question. I bet he's still worn out. Riding all that way on a bike really did a number on him. Oh, here he comes. Nice. What's what? Wait, he's a speed swimmer. Your swimsuit, what else would I mean? It's your basic black, what? I'm not talking about the color. I mean, I mean, the, the whole thing. It's a speedo. Oh, You're fuck. You're the only one saying stuff like that. I'm seeing things I never needed to see. Don't act like you're not egging me on. Wait, Kanji. How come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? Huh? Why would that happen? What? Oh, fuck. I'm surprised they can get this worked up over just some swimsuits. Seriously. Jeez, they're hopeless. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the water. Chie-chan, Yuki-chan, let's be mermaids! Yeah, this gay as fuck. Hey, he went in first. Come on, you two. Let's go. My feet don't touch the bottom anymore. Let's go over that You're alley. just loved. <laughs> Found a betting machine. Wow. I'll go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Oh! My string's getting undone. Huh? Hey, Teddy, watch the hands, pal. I knew it was gonna, it was bound to happen eventually. Aw, don't be so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> In the world are they doing? Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. What now? Got you, you bastard! Busted! Hey, senpai, this stupid bear here. Hey, hey, hey! Not cool! Oh my God! Wait, you listening, senpai? Wait, hold it! Time out! Uh down. Ah! Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine! What are you doing? You need to cover up down there, damn it! I give up! I give up! Hey, quit squirming. You run off and I'm toast! But if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins! Like you had any to begin with. Why don't we take a break? Oh no. I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break to slake with steak. Oh no. They're getting out of the water. Daddy, what gives? I'm done for. I'll go look for something. Sit tight. This is an emergency. <laughs> Maybe a seashell. This is like some fucking... This is a dilemma. 
All right, middle option is not an option. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's, uh... Find swim suit. That there's no way we we ain't got enough time for that. I can hear the harps. Stay with us, Ted. All right, Kanji, I found something. Wait, that's seaweed. Oh, there they are. Senpai! They're coming, just hide it! Oh, no. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to this? Uh, we're, uh, reenacting the birth of Venus? <laughs> Who's playing the part of Zeus? Yeah, I'm I'm ready to be born, damn it. <laughs> Was this the best idea? Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Uh huh. I don't. Oh, hey, he found his fucking speedo. It's a busy day. I'm still itchy. Yeah, I'm sure you are. At least we had a laugh over it in the end, right? And we found your swimsuit, too. Well, I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. It actually might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall, after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but simplicity isn't always a virtue. Oh, man, what was that? Did I just get all philosophical there? Sure. I think you did. Just laying it out there, huh? I think it's fine. I look at that big ocean out there and think, man, why keep hanging on to all this embarrassment? Just let it go. So you don't deny that it was embarrassing, huh? You hear the girls playing at the beach. Okay, why don't we play a game? Whoever loses has to buy barbecue on a stick for everyone else. But that's a prize only you would want to play for, Chie-senpai. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy! Talk about kicking someone when they're down! Then instead of playing a game, why don't we do something else together? Like burying Teddy in the sand. Good times you never mean, last like, long. You like giving him a sand bath? Oh no, my wrist is red. I was so careful to put sunscreen on, too. I wonder if our high school days will end that way, too. What's with all the doom and gloom? The case is closed, man. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Really? Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? Okay, I don't know about that one, Chief. Wait, you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard? Talking about winter already? Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? <laughs> I, I don't think we can go on scooters. Yeah, 
There's lots of mountains around here, so there's got to be a ski slope somewhere not too far away. Oh, yeah, tons of them. None of them are that close by, but it won't be too tough by scooter. Though we got to stay safe. If the roads look dangerous, we might have to change our plans. Mm. Man, I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. Hey, safety's important. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Facts. Well, you have a point. All right. Now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving, after all. Hey, we're going home! Memorable day. I'm sure it was. Uh, the end of summer break is fast approaching, but Nanako still has some homework left to do. According to her, there's a huge pile of homework. The objective of Nanako's homework is to tighten the bond between family members by doing homework together. It's too much for Nanako to finish all by herself. Should you help Nanako with her homework for the next few nights? Yes. Yes. Really? Thank you, Big Bro. Um, then I'll start practicing spelling practice. Nanako is doing her back, uh, best to practice her spelling. Double check her work anyway. Yeah, we should do our homework. You feel that you understand it, but still not well enough. That's a lot of knowledge increase. Don't we already have max knowledge? Decide to look over Nanako's homework. I have to write three proverbs for my homework today. I know one. It's a rolling stone gathers no moss. Dan always tells me that one. Who could that be? Yosuke and Teddy came by. We had a little event going on at June S today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nanako-chan. Oh, you doing your summer homework? I feel sorry for you. All right, I'll help you, Nana-chan. Um, Proverbs. Uh... Hagido ergo sum. <sighs> Where did you pick that up? Don't cast pearls before swine is more like something you'd say. Yosuke and Teddy helped Nanako finish her homework. Became closer to everyone. You feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. You feel your relationship with Nanako is going to become closer soon. But those were already both the case. After putting uh, Nanako to bed and went, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's raining! There is only one thing to do during the rain. First, check the fridge. Okay, good. Only one thing left to do. Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. Aya. Aya. Central Shopping District. You've accepted the rainy day special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. Nice. Aya. Too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Aya. about something I remember. Hmm. Someone here today, too? Chie and Yukiko came by. I heard from Yosuke that Nanako-chan is doing her homework, so I'm here to help you. 
Writing an essay? Have you decided on a topic, Monaco-chan? Not yet? Well, let's see. How about the time we went to the festival together? The ikiyaki was so good. Ikiyaki was so good, and I had so much fun. Begins writing her yes, uh, essay. They get closer to everyone. Chie, Yukiko, and Nanako is going to be closer soon. Okay. That's actually really helpful. Oh, hello. Hanging out with me today. We should. We should. But we need to get some our homework done. When does when does classes start? When is does classes start? Hold on, I'm going to look it up because I'm like... Um, Oh, is it literally the end of... Okay. Okay, so it's September. September 1st is... Okay. Is there anything else we need to do? Um, I mean, I could catch bugs. There's a lot of things I could do. Yeah, let's go. Central shopping district in front of Chinese dinner. Diner. Uh, yeah. Uh, you finished today's training with, and decided to stop by with Chie. Hmm. Steak bowl or a combo plate? The ultimate decision. S stop it! Shut up, dumbass. Yeah, that's right. We all know it's time to cough up. What? This is it? Quit bullshitting us. That voice can't be. Let's go, Common Coon. Takeshi? Hey, someone's here. Whatever. Let's take their money while we're at it. This guy only had a thousand yen on him. Chie! Hey! What are you running for? Gonna hide behind a girl, huh? Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine. You've always been good at stuff like this. You took all my money. You're gonna get them for me, right? 
Well, it does tick me off. Hey, cowards. Ganging up on one guy. You ought to be ashamed. Just take care of them for me. Uh, wait! <laughs> wow, that was fast. Jeez. Come on, what's the matter? Let's throw down. Huh? What's with this bitch? Think you're all that? I ain't afraid to hit a girl. We'll kick your ass. Punks are aggravated by Chie's taunt. Things aren't looking good. Chie back, fight them yourself. Hmm. Honestly, I kind of wish it wouldn't be fight them yourself. It would be fight with Chie. Because, come on. One on three is not really fair. They're not worth it, Chie. They're not worth it. What? what? Chie seems angry. What a pain in the ass. Yo, that guy who ran away might want to call the cops. Screw this. Let's go. Hey, hold on. Wait the heck? I'm running away when you step in. Why'd you butt in? What, you thought you couldn't leave it up to me? I could have handled them myself. <sighs> Sorry. I charged it in by myself. Caused you trouble. It's no trouble. Thank you. Chia looks apologetic. You're right. Uh, I gotta remember. I'm not alone. Always like that. Everyone's doing their best. Start a worry that it's all up to me and I gotta work harder. I worry that someday I'll end up causing even more trouble like I did today. <laughs> Seems Chie regrets uh, her grandstanding. You felt Chie is quiet passion. Endure a mortal blow during battle. We'll be able to endure one mortal blow during battle. Okay, so, like, second chance once more. Never mind. I need to work harder, huh? Why am I moping? I'll think about it some. Though, I'm not too smart. See you later! You decide to look over Nanako's homework. For today's homework, I have to write a book report. I already finished reading the book, so I just need to write about it. A king goes deep into the forest, and Nanako puts a lot of effort into a book report. He was all alone, so he wasn't angry or sad. The king said he was happy, but I feel sad for him. Um, big bro, do you feel happy when you're alone? Hmm. Depends. I see. Maybe I should write about you too. After Nanako finished her report, you put her to bed and return to your room. Oh, it's raining. Oh. Oh. Nothing catches your eye. Oh, 
What was I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Aya. Aya. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner. Aya. You accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. Nice. You decide to look over Nanako's homework. I'm doing my art homework today. I have to make something out of stuff I find in the house. A milk carton, paper towel tube, knitting wool, origami paper. What else do we have? Someone here today, too? Risei and Kanji came by. Senpai said that Nanako-chan was doing her summer homework. You should have told me. But it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. I can't do any of this art stuff. Man, I wonder who can. Huh, let me see what you've got. Kanji carefully crafts something with incredible detail. Create something that no elementary student can make. She became closer to everyone. Kanji, Risei, and Nanako. Nice. After putting Nanako to bed, goodbye to Risei and Kanji, and go to your room. Summer break will be over soon. Hello, it's Risei. Uh, are you bored today, Senpai? Let's go somewhere. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Uh, Risei home after eating it. Aya. Aya. <laughs> the flavor was a little strong, but it was good. My grandma's food is kind of blad. Blad? Blad? Bland. Though tofu is good for you, so. Huh? There's a suspicious man in front of Risei's house. Oh. Is that a reporter? Or stalker? Risei is worried. Yeah, fuck it. No way. Is that you? No way. Research turn. Why are you here? I already settled everything with the agency. Because personally, I can't accept that. Uh, I've watched over you this entire time as your manager. No longer personality. My private time doesn't belong to a manager anymore. Go home. If you don't, I'll call the police. W wait! Could you just think it over? I strongly believe that no other actors can play the role better than Risei Kujikawa. Thanks. For the prime sub. The fans were looking forward to the movie, too. You still want me to act? Huh? Anyway, I'm through with it. I have nothing to do with showbiz and all that stuff now. I... I've decided to marry this man once we graduate high school. I've said before it was only a high day of this, but I've changed my mind. There's no way I'm coming back. Common, she's the real me. He's so gentle. You say he's desperate. Uh, yeah. Totally. They fuck. <laughs> I understand. I'll go home. For today. B but I... Go away. Now. Um... um. 
was, you know what he was saying. He was my manager. I'm like his daughter's age, so he treated me like one of his family. But he's a stranger now. Senpai, um... I'm sorry, Senpai. Lying about marrying you and all. <laughs> hey. I don't mind. Senpai. You're so mature. Yeah. You really are a nice guy. <laughs> this isn't good. I feel like I'm gonna depend on you even more. <laughs> Perhaps due to her relief, Rise is smiling sheepishly. You feel your relationship with Rise has grown deeper. Dude, gotta love it when you blink for the, the fucking camera. Third eye. When selecting a target, you can check to see whether or not the attack will be effective. Oh, damn. That's really nice. Uh, I wish I could have spent more time with you, but I'll save it for next time. See you later, senpai. Senpai, Sama Sin Chain. <laughs> Decided to look over Nanako's homework. I have to write a paper about my favorite animal. Uh, which one should I choose? Oh, I know. Uh, there's a picture of it on that shirt that Dad bought. What's it called? A platypus? I'll write about platypus. This is. Platypi? Nanako begins eagerly researching platypi. Platypuses. Plat plat people. Uh, she doesn't seem need to need any help, but you make sure she's on the right track. The platypus lays eggs, and they have poisonous claws. Question. Is the male or female platypus that has poison claws? Help! 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 Wait, it's not poisonous, it's venomous, right? Because poison is like when you ingest something, right? I need help. Help. Fuck. God damn it. August. That's what month it is. Male. It's male. Correct. You're smart, big bro. After Nanako finished her research, you put her to bed and return to your room. Summer break will be over soon. You have some homework left. It'll be risky to delay it. It'd be best if you worked on your homework today. Right. You don't get the choice, I don't think.
All of your homework has been completed. Uh, this is the last thing I have to do for my homework. I just need to write a picture diary. Um, big bro and dad. Let's see, August 27th. Ah, I don't remember the weather. Big bro, did it rain the day that we worked on my art homework? God damn it, I actually don't remember. Okay, yeah. I figured. It stopped writing by then. That's right, thank you. Nanako just remembered. Bro and his friends helped me a lot with my homework. They were so nice. I like them so much. No, don't look. Finished all of her summer homework. After putting Nanako to bed, you went to your room. God tier. Yeah, what's good? Did you know the fireworks festival is today? Fuck. You know, I don't have any plans. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's get everyone together. Yeah, what's good? I'm gonna play at Monachan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Wonder if Nanako knows about the fireworks festival. You're gonna be at the fireworks festival with with his friends. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad. But he said he'll try and come home for it. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Uh -huh. I'll go with dad. So we'll see you there. Hopefully. You decide to leave Nanako to Dojima and go uh, to the fireworks festival with your friends. So we can get fucking plastered, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you and your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. The crowd's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. Fucking tourists. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Good question. Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? What is she going to do to Teddy? <laughs> sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? I don't know. He is the one who lives with him. When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. What did he do? I think that would kill him. What happened, anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. No! 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 He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Seriously. Huh? 
Is he not talking about his secret savings? <laughs> Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. <laughs> Teddy? What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. What happened to you? That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But... I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. <laughs> Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. Big bro. <laughs> hey, Nanako-chan. Looks like Dojima-san made it in time. Yeah, Dad came home early. Yeah, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> I made it. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Want to launch some fireworks of love with me? Keep it in your pants, bear boy. How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Tojima-san to haul you in? Ah, what the fuck? Things are heating up down there. Yeah. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Why was that so loud? Really? Oh, that's awesome. Pretty. Wow. Come on. No, don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. So unbearable. Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Ooh, you're right. <laughs> Teddy, Teddy, God damn it, Teddy. Could you just not exist for all of five minutes? You enjoyed the fireworks festival. That concludes our program for the summer fireworks festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Because you got to stuff your face, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what? You were all munching on snacks too! An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? <laughs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Bye-bye, Nana-chan! Bye-bye. The fireworks were great, but... I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? <laughs> I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? Yeah. That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Right? <laughs> I don't even know. Not everyone was there. It 
was kind of different. Well, wait a sec. What does that mean? What are you comparing it to? Did, did you go with someone else the next day? What's wrong, Risei-chan? You seem fidgety. Your face seems awfully red, too. Hmm? Uh, does it? <laughs> Dude, seriously? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh, yeah. Should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Is that his name? Naoto Shirogane. Shirogane. What a name. Is that his name? Did we ever learn his name? I can't remember. Like, I genuinely can't remember. Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Oh, get out of here, Yosuke. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? You too, Teddy. Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! You ate a light dinner with the others and then headed home. finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. A watermelon? Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Nanako seems to want everyone to come. You decided to give them a call. Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm going to call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. I kind of... This is somewhat strange, because this is another thing where it's like... Like, different cultures vary. Watermelon is kind of like... I don't want to say it's like a big thing, but it's... It's, it's more seen as like a... A party item. Anako may have been a factor in their decision as well. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. Yeah, it, like... So, where is it? The fridge? In the States, it's just kind of like a food item. Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. You know... But, but doesn't it sound like fun? <laughs> I wanna do it too! I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice. Bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. 
Teddy. Shut your fucking face hole. That makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of you. No, no, stop. I'm home. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Did I skip something? No, I didn't. Okay. Say what? Ah, well, you see. It's going to be like a tiny watermelon. The watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? You two are the worst. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You two are the worst. Oh, but there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! <laughs> Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep, thank you. The fun time slowly passes by. Eventually, everyone went home. Nanako must have gotten tired, too. She seems to be asleep in her room. Thanks for everything today. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. <laughs> The case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> ah, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, you really made some great friends. The sun set peacefully. Today is the first day of the second term. Should hurry to school. Oh, hey. Good morning. Oh, summer vacation's over already. Tell me about it. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. What? The vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Yeah, not long enough. You fucking wool. Good morning. Y you? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. That's one way to put it. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Um, you know this is a high school, right? Yukiko, I think, uh, it's exactly why My easier. cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced there are some family related issues as well so i've decided to stay here for the present from today forth i'll be a first year at your high school F for first year how young and i felt that i should at least introduce myself to you all i trust our relations will be cordial senpai Senpai? That detective boy's our underclassman? So they got the guy over summer break. I was sad to know that he was a student I once taught. You gotta watch out for unjustified resentment, guys. I'm sure you know what I mean. You all watch gossip shows. Uh, you never know who has a grudge against you. My advice, train your body regularly so you can fight back. 
You need exercise and meat to train your body. Young people, eat meat. Sudden a question about meat. Hey, Cole. Venison is the meat of what animal? Deer. Wait. Yeah, deer. It's all of those. Venison is the name for any game meat. Oh. Who's a wild boar, deer, moose, reindeer? It's some kinds of rabbit. Horse meat is Sakura. Deer meat is Momiji. It's funny, horse, horse meat Okay, and deer meat. Right, I get it. Spring leaves and autumn leaves. Uh, comes from the word venor, meaning to hunt, but nowadays people really only use it to refer to deer meat. So it doesn't mean... So you can't blame me. Speaking of outdoor experiences, the school trip is next week. But be careful not to eat anything that has that has to hide behind a code name though. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I've only ever heard venison to refer to deer. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. Yep. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... What, do you like the thrill of murder, Yosuke? Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. That's a good point. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. Better reason than ever. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Fucking... Hello, senpai. Maybe he transferred eyelash. here out of plain stubbornness. Because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. Yeah. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. He seems to be, um, quite popular you don't know the already. area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, he's stone cold. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun, how's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. <laughs> so we meet again. May I help you? Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, want to come with us? Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Yeah, right. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well, that's that then. 
Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see mm, Naoto's yes. attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? He'll be fine. He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Beautiful. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? Yosuke. Shut the fuck up. No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. For sure. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... Hmm. <laughs> This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Is it? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Hmm. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. Aw, oh, man. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. Unlucky. The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yuck. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. They're telling me. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. What? That's no different from a social studies field trip. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. But we're in different years. So? That's a great part about school trips nobody ever tells you. You can hang out with anybody. Alright, as long as they're there with you, you can totally just make your own fucking group. Who's gonna fucking stop you? The teachers? They don't give a shit. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the camp out. They're going to combine the first and second years. At least that's how it was on our school field trips. They would give us like these assigned groups. You just hang out with your friends. You just go with your friends. Nobody gives a shit. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. It's like, oh, you've got to, you've got to. You've got to be with group A. You're, you're with group B. You're, no. Just go fucking... Listen, you see you see Roy over there? Roy, you know, the kid? Cool kid, Roy. Love Roy. Great guy. You go hang out with him. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great. I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons. Uh. It's just the kind of thing he'd come up with. Did you forget, Chie? No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about this trip. No. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? 
Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Where'd you learn that from? Where'd you get that from? Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. Yet it made absolutely no sense. I don't know. Makes sense to me. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. Delivery for you. Probably made less sense in Japanese. Yeah, probably. Price sticker. Let's go. Oh, we can work as a janitor in the hospital today. It reads dad on the lid. No. Listen, we need to up our social link. What the fuck are you doing here, Adachi? Oh. It's you. What are you doing out so late? I'm doing overtime. Sometimes it sucks to be a grown-up. If it was daytime, they wouldn't know if I was slacked off a little. Oops. Whoa, too far, Adachi. Well, you should go home before it gets too late. Oh, Risei's out for some reason at this hour. Let's go. You feel your relationship with Sayoko will deepen. Go to work at the hospital? Yes. Yes. You know about municipal hospital hallway. You busily clean the dark, silent hallways. You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. Oh, it's, uh... The old lady in morning garb is standing there again. Good evening. I'm sorry about what happened last time when I was staring at your face. <laughs> you know. You just... You look like someone I knew. The old woman smiles gently. Do you work here? Only part-time. Is that so? That's wonderful. I have a granddaughter about your age. She went back home today, though. Thinking about it, meeting you here is a wonder. But I won't be coming back here anymore. What were you here for? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a big town. We might run into each other eventually. I like to take in the sun at the riverbank when I have days off. The river sparkles so beautifully. It all feels so good. It saddens me. I'll be going now. The old woman left. Hmm. Oh, you're here. Talk about timing. That rune over there needs some work done in it. Perhaps you could... Oh, whatever. Just get in there. Okay, everything's back in order. The patient who had been in this room uh, left just a w little while ago. I want you to mop the floor. Don't ask what happened here. I'd rather not know. <laughs> I was just kidding. The patient who was here uh, was released today. Returned from uh, right from the brink of death. Oh, he was a good patient who always listened to what I said. Plus, he was the president of his company at a young age. He was handsome, didn't complain, and independent. 
Negative answers progress the social link faster, by the way, because devil. He wanted to get back to his work desperately. Thanks to his perseverance, he was able to leave even earlier than we had scheduled to release them. Thank you for caring for me. I turned and walked out. Such stupid things, like that he loved me. Everyone leaves. They only need me when they're my patients. In the end, they all leave me. I mean, that's just how it is. It, it's, it really do be like that. Yeah, it really do be like that. Uh. This coming from a kid. Sayoko shrugs. Uh, I must not have been making sense. Forget about what I was saying. I'll ask another janitor to handle this room. You go on home. The streets are dark. You shouldn't be here. You wouldn't want to get caught by me. Gives you a faint smile. He feels as he's uh, talking to Sayoko himself. <laughs> Nice work. Wait, so when you... Wait, what do you mean by negative answers? You overhear students talking. I feel so tired coming to school. So sleepy. Can't believe that I was... Uh, early for class every single morning until just about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. By the way, I'm so relieved that they caught the guy behind those murders. I was surprised that it turned out to be just a student. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. No bypass. Unlucky. Classes have ended for today. Have the incidents finally been resolved? You can only hope that the same tragedies won't be repeated. Yeah, alright. Only 16 save slots, huh? Bunch of bullshit. There's gonna be more than 16 streams! Yo, the funky student! Well, 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 back once again. It's the incredible, the magnificent mentalist. I knew you'd be back. I crafted new riddles, just in case you were ready for a new challenge. It's not like I'm ducking the books or anything. I'm just looking out for a few... <laughs> for my riddle, fellow riddle fiends. Jesus Christ. All right, bring it. Riddle Senpai returns. Aw, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No flipping the script. It's another categorization puzzle. This one's not the baby school, though. Three, two, one, get loose now. Skateboards in group A. Go-karts in group B. Egg timers, all up in group A. Alarm clock, strictly in group B. So, who does Protractor roll with? Group A or B? Wait, so skateboards in group A, go karts in group B, egg timer is in group A. Hold on, what?
Persona 4 Funky Student. I just want to see what... Okay. No, I just want to know what he said again. Skateboards in group A. Go-karts in group B. Egg timers all up in group A. Alarm clock is strictly group B. Okay, so skateboards in group A. I think protractors in group A? Yeah, protractors in group A. What's the reason all these seemingly unrelated things are all so tight with each other, huh? It's human motion. Booyah! You could rock the nation with your dissertation on categorization. Obviously, any chucklehead could see that they're all items that commonly require mechanical energy from a human. No victory dance yet, because I'm going to hit you with the B side. Here comes the next one. Gorilla represents for group A. Elephant is group B for life. Coffee maker goes to all the group A parties. Egg beater. Always stays at the hottest Group B nightclubs. Whose phone call does Avalanche answer to? Uh, whose phone call does Avalanche answer while letting the other group go to voicemail? Say it out loud. It's Group B. You know what's up. So tell me what the dealio is. Lay out the likeness for me. They're indefinite indefinite articles boom though you got them both that's two riddles in a row so you're also on fire dag yo that's impressive even though i should probably just expect a wonder kind wonder i don't know I have no problem saw that gorilla has three syllables but it was in group a so it had to be that group b all used in used and Wun Wunderkind Game sucks. It was uh it was about thirty it was in the low thirties out this morning for me, so it was uh a little chilly to say the least. Although definitely not as cool as some other places. I wonder if that uh the cleaning guy is still around. Because I still do need to do his thing. Oh, senpai. About this case. No, forget I said anything. 
If you had some knowledge. Wait, what? Knowledge? Don't I have... Wow. So I need maximum knowledge to talk to Naoto. <sighs> All right. Our diligence is thorough. Our courage is care daring. Knowledge is professor. Professor. Expression is touching. Understanding is motherly. Also, I don't think I get to... Unless it's on the next floor up. It might be on the next floor up. I didn't actually check. It is on the next floor up. God tier. Wonderful. The cleaning mop and cleaning uniform exist for one reason, and one reason alone, and that is for cleaning. Uh, indeed, those items show your will in the passion of the club. Definitely want you to have this. It's been passed down all these years. Bamboo broom. May your passion never go out. Uh, pass it on to the underclassmen who come after you. Understandable. Yo, anybody up top? Nope. I wonder what the riddles are in Japanese. I made this in my chemistry class. Try it out. So you're like, nice. Okay. <laughs> Learn fluent Japanese, idiot. Hey. You should skip your afternoon classes next time. We'll go somewhere far away. What do you mean, skip your afternoon classes? How do I do that? Do it, you fucking loser. How? I don't know how. What button is skip afternoon classes? <laughs> After eating lunch, she'll approach you. Okay. That's good to know. Nobody here. Nobody would be here anyway because it's raining. Aya. Ay, uh, too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Ay, uh, I heard that you live uh, with a police detective named Dojima-san. My daughter met a, name, a man named Dojima when she made a delivery to the police station. Looked a little like you. Family must be filled with handsome men and beautiful women. Whatever that means. I like the waving cat. Oh, yeah, though. Welcome back. It's pretty good. Can work as a janitor at the hospital today? Yeah, no, sorry. Need to spend time with Dojima. Uh. It's not that often we get to spend a moment with Dojima. Bazinga. Thank you for the follow, Casey. Click. Uh... Taking your part-time job at the daycare center. 
Bazinga. Yeah. I need to replace that follow alert. I have like six follow alerts. My con is rusty. What does that say? Baka. Oh. Uh-huh. Yo, Common, I don't see Ko, but you've got practice today, right? Relationship with Ko is going to become closer soon. Yes. <laughs> You're really getting into it. Daisuke seems to admire you. He also got me high gym. Hey, Common. I'm about to, uh... I'm gonna head out to the orphanage. Just wanted you to know. Later. Because my last name literally would not fit into... the thing. Should've went by Phil Collins. Yo! Hey, where's Ko? You told Daisuke that Ko went uh, to the orphanage today, hmm? Kinda worried. Let's catch up to him. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's call it a day. Decided to go uh, meet with Ko at the station with Daisuke. Soy Naba station entrance. What are you two doing here? Find anything out? No, not yet. Wait, you guys came all the way out here just to worry about me? <laughs> <laughs> Losers. Contrary to his words, Coat looks happy. The orphanage hasn't changed at all. Teachers even remembered who I was, and they were really nice to me. But they said they can't tell me who my real parents are, or why I was left there. No kidding. They did give me this, though. I've been too scared to read it by myself, but... It's a letter from the person who left me at the orphanage. I'm gonna read it. Dear Koku... By the time you read this, you'll have grown into a fine young man. Your parents uh, named you Ko because they hoped that you would always be in good health. They considered health more important than fame or money because it's much harder to keep and maintain. You see, your parents were very frail when they passed away about half a year after you were given up for adoption. They always wanted you to know how sorry they were that they couldn't raise you themselves. They loved you very dearly. Ko, you are your parents' ray of hope. No matter how difficult things get, hold your head up high and keep pressing onward. You can't lose hope. Both of them would undoubtedly say, we will be watching over you. Always. No names. Not a single clue. My real parents are dead. <sighs> I was half expecting something like this, but it's still pretty shocking, you know? I have no one. That's simply not true. <laughs> you think so? I really don't know anymore. Co smiles wryly. But, I'm glad to have found out. I'm glad to have this. Thanks, man. Nice. It's gonna get dark soon. Let's head home. 
The others are worried about you too, you know. All right, let's go home. Welcome back. What? Can't hang out with Dojima. I was thinking of uh, taking Nanako out to Juness. Want to come along? Absolutely. Wait. I see. One second. Fuck. Juness Grocery Department. You came shopping with Nanako and Dojima. Every day is great at your Juness. Fucking corporate brainwashing. I swear to God. Nanako is enjoying herself. Do you want something, big bro? Go ahead and get whatever you want, but make it quick. Decided to purchase something that caught your eye. You spy a peach seed. Obtained peach seed times ten. I need to go to the bathroom. Uh. All right. I'll go take Nanako to the bathroom so you wait here with our things. Yeah, all right. You see Yosuke and Teddy a little ways off from you. Motherfucker bought ten seeds. <laughs> you hear them talking to each other. Mm. Can't stick you anywhere where you'll need special training right off the bat. So let's start you in the food department. Then again, it moves pretty fast, so there's a lot to memorize even here. I got it! Bring it on! A useless teddy is no teddy at all! Oh, I'll hold you to that. Alright, first, there's the order you put stuff on the shelf. The front row is for whatever's on sale that day. Behind that goes na the natto and eggs. Next is the side dishes. And in the very back are the meats. Oh, these are fish sausages. They go somewhere else. Was that too much to digest at once? Hmm. Try reciting that back to me, starting with what goes in the front. Snacks in the back look delicious. Hey! It's not what I asked. Hey, Yosuke, when is snack time at Juness? There isn't one. Especially if you don't work. <sighs> Looks like we'll have to keep you in costume so you can act as our mascot for a while. Yosuke and Teddy leave. You wait for Nanako and Dojima to return. Then three of you go home happily. Every day is great at your Juness. Oh man. Hello, this is Yukiko. Um, can I meet you today? If you have some free time. Yeah, our Yukiko was going to level up soon, so yes. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. You decided to go out with Yukiko. Tatsuhime Shrine. Yukiko brought you here, saying she wanted to pay her respects. I come here every so often. It's nice and quiet. I visit here with the waitresses, too. Like, before a big guest arrives. We made our annual Hatsumore visits here. The exam charm was here, too. <sighs> Once I leave this town, I won't be able to come here again, will I? You're not coming back? Uh, uh -huh. I mean, I couldn't face my parents again. Yukiko looks sad. Oh, Yuki-chan! Asai san, what are you doing here? Taking a little break after ordering from the liquor store. Uh, so you. So now you know. Hmm? Oh, I won't tell. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, is that the rumored boyfriend? I see. Hard work in the kitchen paid off, huh? huh? <laughs> it's not like that. Your face is burning red. Well, I'll leave you two be alone. I'm sorry about that. Oh, that was one of our waitresses. They all have the wrong idea. I'm really sorry. I 
I mean... <laughs> Broken out in a cold sweat. Say, son, is teaching me how to cook along with the other waitresses and chefs. I said I learned on my own, but I kept messing up. I burnt myself a couple of times. <laughs> Please let us teach you, they said. It's usually the other way around, you know. They use up their break time for my lessons. They're so nice to me. When I was halfway successful one time, everyone gathered around and taste tested it, saying how good it was. I didn't know what to say. I was just happy. Plus, I have my friends at school. All things considered, I'm pretty lucky. I want to do my best for everyone's sake. Simps. <laughs> Fucking simps. Did you just compliment that female? Simp! You a simp! Your power to create personas of the priestess arcana has grown. But I'm trying to leave. I'm trying those who have been kind to me. I can't help that, I suppose. Bye. Part way home together. Nice. You're back. Hey, you're home. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Yeah, sorry. Hanging out with Ojima. When do the battles happen? Uh, not right now. Ah. Uh. The newspaper article? Oh yeah. I found it. Were you worried about it? about Chistato, my wife, when she was killed by a hit and run. I told you before, right, about the case where we never had a suspect. Get it now? There's nothing more I can say about it in this house. Let's stop there. Even if it's about family. Common. <sighs> Jeez. She... Nanako's mother was run over on her way to pick up Nanako from nursery school. It was a cold day, and there were no witnesses. So they didn't find her until much later. Until they got word to me, Nanako was waiting all that time at the nursery all alone, waiting for a mother who would never come. I couldn't tell Nanako that her mother was killed, that her father, whose job is to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. But I haven't given up. I'll catch the guy. I don't need a private life to do that. Nanako will understand. I don't know, Zojima. I don't know about that one, Dojima. Are you sure this is what's best? I feel like, is this what she wants? Is is kind of a... Kind of like a fucked up way to say it, but like... 
sure about that, Chief. Kind of sounds like you're just holding a grudge. It's just an excuse. Come on, man. Also, I don't know if she is referring to Chisato or Nanako. I'm assuming it's Nanako. We'll say, is this what she wants? Do you think this is what Nanako wants? Hmm. Even if it's not what she wants now, she'll understand someday. I have to tell myself that. Sorry. Leave me alone for now. Common? Thanks. Bypass! You overhear students talking. You know, I don't really see the police in town anymore. I've seen on the news that there are still some loose ends to this case, but the police are ready to end everything. The what? You mean those murders? Why are you still thinking about stuff from that far back? Ignore that. The school trip starts on Thursday. Both the first and second years are going. I might end up in the same group as Rosette. I'm so looking forward to it. Sheesh, you never even cared about idols until now. Looks like we're having quite an eventful year. So weird. After the murder incidents, an idol comes to town. Alright. And then a detective shows up too. This town used to be so carefree. Every year was uh, more of the same until this year came along. Anyway, I'm supposed to cover Haiku today. Get out your textbooks. Haiku, unlike Senryu, uh, contain Kigo, which are words or phrases that can be associated with a particular season. Alright. Why don't I test the waters with a Kigo related question? Common chant. Yeah, what's good? Which of the following is a Kigo for fall? How the fuck am I supposed to know this? God damn, I'm looking it up. How the fuck am I supposed to know this? This is actually unfair. Fucking pissed. What is it? September fifth. September 5th. Wait, what? Answer to Mr. Hosoi is sardine? It's not a... What? Oh, this is the Persona 4. This is not Persona 4 Golden. Or Golden.
Let's see. It's brisk. But why? Why is it brisk? May. June, July. September 5th. It is brisk. Cam says so. All right. Yeah, he's right. It is brisk. Why is it? I think we are. Why is it brisk? Do you know? It's just something associated with, since the Japanese are strange and their season's different than ours. I did know the answer. I will say Cameron that. did know the answer. Okay, but why? Like, what? 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 what why? Like, why? Like, what's the explanation? Well, it's just something that they associate with fall. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not Japanese. So wait, how did you know the answer then? <laughs> wait, what? I think I guessed the first time because you know it just made sense to me. It seemed like the right word, and then uh, I've known it from then on. All right. I'm... Doesn't it just make the most sense, though? Yeah, fall's pretty brisk. Yeah, fall is pretty brisk. And it's definitely not rain. That's spring. Yeah. And sunset just doesn't fit. For me, like, I I just think of it like the year. That's why I guess sunset is because, like, spring is sunrise, summer is day, fall is sunset, and winter is it... Also, I wish my teacher had a puppet. <laughs> Dude, I, I wish my teacher was Mr. Hosoi. Like, look at this guy. Well, the teachers in these games are always goofy as fuck. In Persona 3, there's a guy that has, like, a fucking samurai helmet. The history teacher has, like, a samurai <laughs> helmet. And, like, he'll start out every lecture, like, say we're talking about Neolithic. Ah, oh, fuck Neolithic civilizations. We're talking about the Sengoku era. <laughs> <laughs> what a god. All right. Now I know. And now, you know. Yeah, it is brisk. Uh, while brisk is an adjective usually used regardless of season, it is a fall kiko. Uh, so, if you're writing a haiku, don't use that word to describe a season that isn't fall. Give the correct answer. Your knowledge is increased. What's up? Are you gonna do anything after school? Wanna go grab something to eat? Spend the day with Yosuke. I think we just ranked up Yosuke. Rank six. Discover personas. Pixie. Orobas. Jack Frost. Quapo. Pyrojack. Diz. Rangda. Jin. We'll decide later. Hmm. Don't tell me there's another one. Oh my god. Senpai! Just want to remind me that we have practice today. Ah! Uh, so many decisions, decisions, decisions. Why are you here, Teddy? What the fuck? Teddy, what the fuck? Man, I get all excited when school's over. Feeling of freedom is like such a rush. What are you doing here? I'm visiting. I want to see what it's like to be a student. I wanted to know more about this school thing that everyone goes to. It's much more fun than I thought it would be. One day won't be enough. <laughs> it seems Teddy plans to keep coming to school from here on out. You hope this doesn't cause any problems. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hanako. Oh, my God.
Um, let's see. Maybe not right now. What about you, Yosuke? Yo! Is going to become closer soon. Um, yeah, let's spend time with Yosuke. Junas Food Court, you came here with Yosuke for a quick bite to eat. What's gonna eat today? Hey, Hanamura. What is it today? Some Kazumi can take the day off and we can't. Huh? We told you before, we can't work Saturdays. So when we refused, they said they were going to fire us. I don't get this. Hey, I talked to the manager. Senpai, have you two been taking absences without leave lately? I I just forgot to come. Besides, that's not the point. What are you going to do about this? I have a date that day. How come you're favoring Kazumi, huh? You were like that with Saki, too. Huh? Don't try to hide it. We all know. You like Saki and treated her special. I don't think Saki-senpai has anything to do with this subject. Yeah, it does. You told the other workers to take it easy on Saki, too, didn't you? You think you can do anything just because you're the manager's son? So it's Kazumi now that Saki's dead? Don't even bother. She has a boyfriend. Didn't you get it? Saki didn't like you. We heard so from her. She may have acted that way, but... Started to bow down Saki-senpai. Shut up! Common. What? Who are you? You shut up! You're the ones who should shut up. What do you know about Saki-senpai? She didn't do things half-assed like you. She looked lazy, but she worked hard. She talked bad, but she was good. So she hated me. I knew that. She's not here anymore. I'm left behind. Just leave me alone. What the heck? Let's go. Damn it. Splurred out a bunch of crap, huh? I know how it is. But not really. Listen. You're just upset, man. No. It's just... What a pathetic display from Yosuke, huh? Thanks, though. Thanks. do I want to do? I don't get it, even though it's my own failure. Sorry, but I'll see you later, Common. Welcome back. Alright. Hey! Night. Leftover slice of watermelon. Always. Tasted better last time. Unlucky. No courage, boys. No courage. Hello, this is Rise. Why don't we go to Teddy's place tomorrow? I know the criminal was arrested, but we can still go in there. You know, plus, I don't feel relieved yet. And I want to see you fight, Senpai. Yeah, all right. 
Fine. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program. Charm drape. Heavy soup. Chest key. And five prize stickers. I don't know. Charm drape. Is charm drape any good? Actually, you know what? I don't really care. I'm getting the charm drape. All right, we need to we need to read. All right. Milk toast teacher who has a hard time getting his students to learn. Misadventures of the teacher as he flees from psychopathic bill collectors. All right. I think this is probably a good place to end off for now. Well, here. Let's advance our relationship with Senpai. Ayane. And then... <laughs> and then, I think so. You also got me high in music room. You attended band rehearsal. You played your trumpet with passion. Your expression has increased. Your expression has changed from touching to enthralling. Yo, we can advance our fucking social link with Nanako now. Samegawa Riverbank. After practice, Ayane took you here. Wow, the rain has almost let up. Senpai! Over here. This is where I usually practice. <laughs> There's never anyone around, so I can relax while I play. Sorry for dragging you out here on such short notice, but I thought it would be easier for me to tell you something here. I think I need to start being more selfish. Yeah. For as long as I can remember, I've never expressed my opinions. I've just let them build up inside me. I was trying to protect myself from conflicts by just avoiding them. Sometimes arguing about something and talking through it is what makes a relationship stronger, I think. Finally starting to see that. Well, no, that's not true. I've known all along, but I was too scared to admit it. I was afraid of speaking my mind and getting shot down. I didn't want anyone to hate me. That's why I thought I could avoid getting hurt by just going with the flow. It was the easiest way out. Then you came along and made me realize I was just pretending to not see what I was doing. I've been keeping a lot of unpleasant emotions buried inside. In fact, the real me can be pretty shellfish. Shellfish. Um, I want people to notice me, but I never make the first move. Selfish, right? That's me. That's why when I think about the other day, how I threw everything you did for me, I feel guilty. But you helped me do a lot of things I couldn't have done on my own. Push myself past my limits, and on top of that, I got to hang out with someone I really care about. But most importantly, you made me look myself in the eye. Never could have done that alone. You helped me hear my own voice. So, from now on, I'm not going to pretend that I don't care what happens anymore. Express my opinion. Say what I think. If someone, And if that gets me on someone's bad side, then that's that. If I want to get what I want in life, I've got to speak my mind. I owe it all to you. Common senpai. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Um, that being said, there's something else. Ayane is blushing. Senpai, I... You have a hunch what she wants to say. 
what should you do? We fucking in there, boys! Huh? This is senpai. Ayane is speechless. Y yes Um, I feel the same way. So, yes, that makes me your girlfriend. Oh. Ayane is blushing. Want to walk home together? Your relationship with Ayane has become intimate. Goodbye. Let's fucking go! Walked Ayane to her house and then went home. Welcome Achievement back. unlocked a special lady. Hell yeah. Alright. So. That is that. That's video games. We're gamers. Always and forever gamers. That's pretty nice. I enjoyed that. 